Gon follows the daily adventures of a little dinosaur of attitude, with the same name as the title, who was able to survive the catastrophic extinction that wiped out all of the other dinosaurs many years ago. This manga is one in a million, seeing as how it has absolutely no dialogue, no human characters, and is set entirely in the wild millions of years ago. The story is told entirely through the art, which is possibly the greatest challenge for a manga artist, seeing as how they are unable to rely on dialogue to advance the story or to convey drama, emotions or character motivation. Masashi Tanaka succeeds in doing just this and more however, which has earned him recognition as a storytelling genius. The lack of words in Gon is made up entirely in the art. The amount of effort Masashi Tanaka puts into his art is clear at one glance. Every panel is extremely detailed, bursting with life and full of realism. Gon displays the very best art in any manga I have personally come across. The only characters that appear in this manga are Gon and a wide variety of animals. Gon appears in every chapter, but most of the animals are not recurring characters. Given its setting, however, it's best that this particular manga only has one main character. Gon is the last of his kind after all, which is brilliantly portrayed in the series. Gon himself is surprisingly well developed, and he was also quite an iconic character back in the day, even appearing in Tekken 3. Though it might not seem it at first glance, Gon is a masterpiece. And to quote CMX, it's heartwarming, silent storytelling, greatly detailed art, and surface simplicity that masks the true complexity of its execution are all proof of this. Gone, once experienced, is definitely a manga you won't forget in a long time. Gone is often overlooked and viewed as a child's manga, but I can tell you now, anyone will be able to enjoy Gone's adventures. I'd give the story an 8, the art a 10, the characters an 8, and the enjoyment a 9, which overall gives Gone a well-deserved 9 out of 10. In conclusion, an underrated and undiscovered masterpiece that I highly recommend.